This is our model today. She's never had lip filler done and part of her process to prepare was two weeks before this appointment to avoid vitamins and all aspirin containing products in her system like the Advil's, Motrin's, etc. also including ibuprofen. Doing so will help reduce your risk for bruising. Courtney has been topical numbed and the area has been prepped with alcohol. Um, one of the things I want to point out on lips is within the upper lip there's these three little pillow shaped areas called tubercles and some can be thin and some can be bigger pillows but they're like an open space in there and that's where we're going to be putting in the filler if we stick to those little areas and not go more in the corners it'll maximize her syringe giving her the most amount of fullness on the bottom there's two of them and we're going to be filling in those and that'll give a little bit more projection out there again without losing the filler in the corners now the first one I'm gonna do is this larger tubercle right here. All right, Courtney, here is a poke. Okay. You see I'm not too deep within the lip. I'm a little bit more to the surface, but not too surfacey. And then I'm gonna just put in a little filler there. Now there is lidocaine in the syringe, so that also helps with the pain. Okay, good. Do a little bit of massaging. Okay, now in the right there in the middle, there's a tiny little pillow right there. So we're gonna also give that a little plumping. Here's a little poke. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna plump right there. Good. Now, before I go to the other side of the bed, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. Here's a poke. And this doesn't require a ton of pokes. Okay, pulling that back, make sure we're not in any vessel. There's a large artery that runs on the inside of the lower lip, so we want to stay away from there. Good. Hand back, and let's see how those look. That look great! Hey, a little bit of swelling, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to give this a little bit of time before we film final results we'll put that on video right now it looks like your upper lips a little bit bigger than the lower um, and that'll settle down so here is Courtney this is three weeks after we did her lips with one syringe looking fabulous you